Hey everybody, this is Michael with Asymmetric Preparedness. This is just a truck talk. And we'll call it winter driving. Something like that. Basically, don't drive like an idiot. Be careful. It's not worth it to be in a rush and try to drive crazy to get to work faster, get to wherever you're going faster. As you can see here in the background, it's snowed here. Which is rare. You know, it usually snows maybe once a year. Um, usually it doesn't stick, but uh, this is a little bit, you know, a little bit, a couple inches, something like that. So, kind of start off with a story. Coming in this morning, um, I usually get to the gym about 5 o'clock in the morning, um, maybe a little bit before. It's about 4.30 in the morning I'm driving along, and uh, there's no snow at my house at all. I had, to, I had decided the night before, uh, you know, last night, yesterday, that I was going to take the truck instead of the Camry because... Just in case, you know, there's supposed to be weather coming and stuff like that. And this is a one-ton diesel truck with 35-inch mud tires. And I got, you know, four-wheel chains in the back if I need them. And it's four-wheel drive, of course. So I figured, yeah, better safe than sorry. This is better in the snow and stuff like that in bad conditions. So brought the truck, and I'm just driving. You know, it's nothing. It's, it's frosty out. It's like 28 degrees or something like that. And I'm like, oh. Roads may be a little bit slippery, you know, because it's frosty. It's been raining a lot lately, and it's kind of, the roads are frosted, kind of slick. So I'm just taking it easy and stuff like that, chilling. i got lots of time. If i got to cut my workout short, cut my workout short, whatever. It's not worth getting in an accident or hurting myself or others or damaging my vehicle or something like that just to try to go faster. So calm down. Think about what's really important to you guys. Uh, so anyway, I'm cruising along, and to a section of road where all of a sudden, you know, it's like, oh, there's a little bit of snow on the ground. And then it got like, all of a sudden, there's like four or five inches covering the entire freeway. I was like, whoa, that's crazy. So it, it was pretty crazy. So, and then I saw, you know, Dodge Challenger, or yeah, Dodge Challenger sideways in the middle of the road. And then there was a, a Mustang sideways in the ditch. And then there was a little rice rocket off to the side, you know, um, and there's like all of these cars, especially rear wheel drive cars with high horsepower. Mustangs, Camaros, Vets, Challengers, Chargers, stuff like that. There were a bunch of cars all over. They spun out all over the highway. Highway patrol all over the scene. Ambulances all over the scene. I mean, I literally had to weave my way through all these cars, spun out all over the place just to get down the freeway. And, you know, and before that, I was, uh, or actually, no, I think it was after that. Uh, a little ways after that, it was still the same kind of condition, and I'm just cruising, and uh, I'm cruising about 35, you know, uh, it's still really snowy, and this little import car goes just like by me, he was doing at least 10, fat, 10 miles an hour faster than me, so he's going at least 45, and he was literally fishing like this the whole way, just woo, 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 all the way down the road, and I'm like, man, that is crazy, he's just begging for something to go wrong. And around here, Pacific Northwest drivers, especially uh, uh, Western Washington, people don't know how to drive in the snow. I don't have tons of experience driving the snow, but see, I recognize that. I know that. I know I'm not a good snow driver. Well, I, I may be okay, but I don't have tons of experience. So I drive slow. I slow down. I don't do stupid things. I don't have anything to prove. You know, this big truck is not a you-know-what extension for me. I don't have anything to prove. I'm not gonna sit there and go hot rodding around. My fast car days were back in the days when I used to go from race to drag race, pro bracket all the time. Uh, those were fun days, but those, that's in the past. Now I realize, you know, as I mature, that um, there's much more important things than getting there somewhere faster uh, in life. So I just want to encourage you guys to drive safe, be careful, take care of your vehicles in the winter time. They'll take care of you. Just don't be an idiot and really watch out for the people that are. You start seeing somebody around you, give them lots of extra room, back off of them, move over a little bit. Just give those people lots of extra room and courtesy just so that, you know, they don't hurt you. Because I care about you guys. I don't want anything bad to happen to you guys out there in the wintertime. Um, people, you know, where they live in places where you don't get much winter weather, well, this isn't a concern for you. There's a lot of people that I mean, drive in snow all the time. I mean, you guys that live up north and stuff like that, there's a lot of northern states that it's just your way of life. I mean, they don't even shut down schools for feet, feet and feet of snow. I mean, around here, gosh, this, 
they probably shut down a bunch of schools today around here. If it sticks on the ground, they pretty much shut everything down around here. It's funny because it is rare and people aren't used to it and they're not experienced with it. Um, so I guess it kind of makes sense. But take care, drive carefully, and get to where you're going safe and sound. If you're a little bit late, no problem. Now that it's winter time though, go to sleep a half hour early. Get up a half hour early. You know, go to where you're going. Give yourself plenty of time to get there. And if you get there early, go for a walk. Fitness, you can fit it in. <laughs> or I don't know, just an idea. I just care about you guys. I, I, I want you guys to stay safe. I want you guys to stay healthy uh, and all that stuff. So uh, do the things, prep a little every day. Fitness, definitely. Food, stack it. Stack it high. Water, depending on where you live, how much of a concern it is. But water is always more important than food, of course. You all know that. Uh, we need water much more than we need food. So water, do all the things. Get the training, gain the skills, and practice them. So I hope I encourage you guys. I think, you know, I've had a lot of, you know, a lot of good comments and stuff like that. I, I think I'm reaching people really well. So I love you guys. Please get the word out. Um, please share the videos, like, thumbs up, notifications, stuff like that. Um, so... Oh great, there's two people, idiots, we got in an accident, and it's, the roads are clear now, you can see, it's whatever. I love you guys, and blessings to you and yours.